is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That's... Sounds good to me. Last night, I'll be very, very honest with all of you, outside of a couple people who were cheering a lot, and a few people who did uh, some tips, it was a very slow stream. In particular, the support was really slow. All right, and you know, I hate when that when, when people turn it into a fucking meme because it pisses me off. Here I am, I'm trying to play the game and have fun, and I'm trying to you know stick to my guns and not get frustrated at the bad connections and the like. And by the way, I started doing something new again. I started using the knife this time, which is interesting. I think the knife is broken as fuck, but I started using it to do more variety for for everyone because people wanted me to switch stuff up, so I did. And you get people who are gonna sit there on the stream and just be like, "Oh my god, look, no one's contributing. Look." Phil's getting frustrated. Maybe Phil will do overtime, because he always goes overtime when he doesn't hit his tips goal, and blah, blah, blah. And it just, it pisses me off. It does. I just want to relax and have fun with the game, and I can't when people are constantly harping on horse shit like that, you know? I just can't. I, you know, it, the whole stream gets derailed for me. And it pissed me off to the point where it was like, well, I get the feeling what's happened is two things. Number one, I've been playing this game consistently since launch. Uh, that's number one, and then I'll be, I'll be honest, I think what people have caught on is that when I play these, this game, it causes me rage because of the connections. So you get these shithead restreamers who always restream it, and then they send in the assholes to come taunt me and talk about money and shit when I just want to concentrate on the fucking game, and it pisses me off, alright? So, that being said, okay, being that this stream last night was basically a mess, I was frustrated, you know, contributions were incredibly low, and everyone was just being a fucking troll, alright? I'm of the mindset that if that's the that's the attitude that's gonna happen when I play the game, that maybe I should cut back on playing it. No! 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 All right. Now, I'm not saying I don't want to play. It. I I like the game, but why should I play it two, three times a week if every time I play it, it's just gonna be it, it's a troll mindset to come in here and be a dickhead to me? And you know, contributions were very, were very slow, and I, there's many other things I could be playing. Let's be honest here. Contributions are are mandatory and always will be mandatory. That's, that's really, to, uh, on Sunday, this is going to determine what happens with the future of Call of Duty. People have asked me to play Call of Duty as a mainstream for a couple of weeks now. Again, similar to Immortals Phoenix Rising, they've been saying, play it on the early stream because you don't, maybe get different connections, maybe you'll play different people, and maybe you'll get a different audience. So I'm going to do that on Sunday, we're going to see how it goes. If people show up, if people support, and uh, if people, uh, you know, if people basically are supportive of the stream, then I'll continue to play it as much as I have. But if the stream ends up being a dud on Sunday, and it's just fucking people coming in here and trolling and shit, then I'm probably just going to reduce it and only play it once a week, alright? Anything for this, right? In particular, tipping helps more than other stuff because tipping is something that I get in the short term and that's funds that I could put towards something important like paying taxes, hint hint, which is basically what I'm fucking doing right now. Uh, I just had to empty, literally empty my bank account to pay taxes. Um. So, give me your money. Will you do a fundraiser stream towards equipment? I think it might be a good idea. Okay, so first of all, let's give some background to why he's asking this. I have said that this year coming up, if things go well, which we don't know what's going to happen yet in regards to my streams and everything, but if things go well, this may be the first year in many, many years that I'm out of massive financial distress and I can actually reinvest uh, into equipment for the business. Instead of just games and, and, and cost of maintaining the business like internet, I can actually maybe get some new equipment for the business. Namely, a new laptop, a new webcam, a new chair, and possibly a whole new gaming PC slash streaming PC. You know, hint, hint. Well, you know what I mean? Like, everything could be upgraded, all right? I still think some things, like, for example, this microphone and this is fine. The soundproofing in my office is fine. That kind of stuff is good. But there's definitely a lot of stuff that could be improved around here because this is all old, outdated shit, okay? So all that being said, I've been talking about it, but I've been telling you guys right now there's no way I could do it. This month in particular is a very expensive month for me. I just, I, I just emptied my bank account paying my taxes. <gasps> oh my god! So, we'll see. But, in regards to actually holding 
special events, like a fundraising stream, where I'm trying to actually do it like a tips goal, if I, you know, so I can go get equipment. Um, I'll be honest with you, Rob, it's a good idea. Honestly, I think it's a good idea, but I've held off from doing it for a particular reason. Two, actually, I'll say there's two reasons, all right? <clears throat> First of all, I do feel that in previous years, not so much in 2020, because 2020 was a different kind of year with the vest streak and everything, we all know that. But in previous years, I've done a lot of fundraising streams to try to help out in situations like the tax situation and stuff like that. And it got to the point where people just felt like there was always another problem, that another emergency that I need to do another special emergency stream for. And people got very jaded. They just got tired of it. Why is Phil always doing a fun... Every other month, Phil's doing a special emergency stream, fundraising stream, and they got angry. And I, admittedly, I agree with you guys. They said, Phil, you know, we contribute to you, but it always seems like it's a black hole. Because it always seems like no matter how much we contribute, you're always still having problems. You're always still in debt and, and nothing's getting better. I agree with you. I didn't like doing that. It was always some new bullshit going on that was fucking me over that I needed to put out a fire, put out a fire, put out a fire, put out a fire. And it was incredibly frustrating. My life was incredibly frustrating during those times, okay? Last year, I didn't do any special fundraising emergency streams at all because number one, thank God there were no huge emergencies, all right? And number two, because of the vest streak, you know, going on so long, I'm deathly afraid and nervous that I'm going to do something like, okay, special fundraising stream so I can afford a new laptop and a chair. So let's do a stream to raise, I don't know, a thousand bucks, and that will give me leeway to get a kind of laptop I need and a, and a good chair or whatever, right? And we do it, and I raise it. Then something happens behind the scenes that fucks me over, and all of a sudden I need money right away, but I just did a fundraising stream, you know? And I'm honestly afraid that if I were to do that, all right, that something's going to happen to screw me over, and now I've already asked you guys for help for one thing. I can't ask again. You know what I mean? How many times can I yell help before people are like, enough is enough? Like, I feel, the way I see it is if I'm going to do a special event, a special stream like that, it's got to be for something that's very, very important and needs to happen right away. Thrawn, no, you're not going to pay me $10 million to act like Dr. Disrespect for a week. You don't have that kind of money. Um, no, I'm not going to blow chat a kiss. That's also fucking weird and disgusting. What is up with people today? What is going on? Are you normal today? Anyone? <laughs> okay then. What are you guys doing? What are you guys talking about? No one's talking to me. What's going on? Let's see here. Uh, this right here, right here, socks. Cheers. How much of a tip goal to get me to a lime green speedo? Probably more than any everyone combined watching the stream could afford, to be honest. <laughs> you gotta understand that if I did that, all right. Collectively, people could sue me in a class action lawsuit for losing their eyesight for, while they were watching the stream. So it would have to be enough to cover everyone's medical bills. Just to just just to even consider it. <clears throat> there you go. Wow, guess we just got fucked. We just got fucked. I'm not kidding, like just just undid everything. We just got fucked. There was nothing I could do. I never had an opportunity to heal him. Wow. So we just played 47 minutes and I just lost all that progress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. We lost it all. Because the game doesn't let you save during that dungeon. And they all ganged on Kasuga and never gave me an opportunity to, to heal him. I had no chance to heal him. Wow. What the fuck? That was bullshit. Like, that was real, like, legitimate bullshit. There was nothing I could do about that. So it sounds to me like every fight then, every fight that we do against, like, a tough, a tough enemy group... I have to use that Perseverance move with Kasuga. Because if he, he's the unlucky one they all gang up on because they all get multiple turns. And if, you know, we don't get a chance to heal, 47 minutes down the drain. Well, fuck all that. I'm just going to turbo through it now. Fuck this. 47 fucking minutes. Unbelievable. No, see, there's a difference. And here, here's Covert Kelly. It's meant to be difficult. No, 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 no. There's a difference between difficult and just cheap. There's nothing you can do about it. Difficult would be like, okay, the enemies are doing a lot of damage, so you have to micromanage your party to make sure you're constantly healing each other and everything. There wasn't even a chance to heal. It was, I hit Kasuga for 50% damage, the next guy came out, I hit Kasuga, kill him. Over. There was no chance to do anything about it. So, there's a di again, there's a difference between, oh, that's kind of challenging versus, oh, just an incredibly cheap insta-kill start from the beginning. And this is why when I was playing Persona, it does the same shit. Persona 3 does exactly the same shit, and it's completely broken. Yeah, oh, I'm just gonna insta-kill your party now. Oh, okay. What? Well, wait, why did I just play the game all that time if you were just gonna cheaply insta-kill my party and I'm giving you a chance? <clears throat> and that's the problem with some of these RPGs, and this game has not had stuff like that until right now. Now, again, this is the post-game ultimate challenge dungeon, okay? So, that being said, alright, fair enough, it's hard, but 
still, that's frustrating. I'm gonna vent my, my criticism and say, yeah, that's bullshit. It shouldn't be that they can just all dogpile on fucking Kasuga. And you don't even have a chance to defend yourself, you know? You're, oh well, fuck off, you're dead. No, that's, that ain't right. Basically, here's a whiny baby. <laughs> yes, I hit it this morning, that's correct. I said it, it was a long time running, I wasn't hitting it. So it would be nice, you know, I hit it earlier today. That's true. It would be nice if I could hit it again tonight. It would be very nice. It's like people think, oh, you hit the tip skull once, that means you're good for life, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. I, I, you know, I worked once and it worked out well. You know, that one time I, it did really well. So, you know, I'm good for, for life now, guys. Thanks. This is, what is a fucking dumb thing to say? Currently, we're only at $14 in tips, so... Basically, what I wanted to see tonight was an experiment. If I were to do chill late night RPG content with people supporting. Right now, sadly, the answer is not really. The answer is pretty, it's pretty slow and doesn't seem like people really are interested in seeing more of this game. Even though this is ultra challenging, I already died once, right? Uh, I don't know what to tell you. You know, unless things change by the end of the stream, I don't know if I'll do this again. So now we're up to $19 in tips, guys, and there are only about 15, 20 minutes left on the stream. I really appreciate it if you guys can contribute to at least help out a little bit before the end of the stream. So it's not basically a stream that, again, was another failure, just like last night's Call of Duty stream. But now it's going to be done, right? We'll see what happens. Uh, I enjoyed tonight. Uh, let me put it this way. You guys were a good audience. You guys were great. You interacted with me. And you, we had a lot of fun, right? Everything there was good. The, the, con the conversation was good. The gameplay, I enjoyed the game. Contributions were terrible. What can I say? I'm not going to exaggerate. I'm not going to pull punches. So I, I will definitely give this game another shot and see what happens and go from there. But, you know, everything else was good. Like I told you guys, it's not all about money. It's not. It's not just about money. I had fun tonight. You guys seem to be engaged and have fun tonight. So I will keep this in the rotation for now, likely once a week, and see how it goes moving forward. Because I definitely want to see what that next super challenging tower is, okay? Oh my god, he's drinking kiss. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And for those who did contribute, thank you very much. Until next time. What I will say is this. I know for a fact there's a lot of people who watch this playthrough on YouTube. People who follow along my JRPG playthroughs. If you've liked this entire playthrough and you want to see me do more post-game, please consider supporting because I never really appeal directly to the YouTube audience. I know you guys have been watching. Please, if you can, contribute. And, uh, you know, hopefully you'll make up for the fact that, sadly, it's been kind of slow. You know, I, I, I like the game. I want to keep playing it, but... I do need some support, all right? So if you are watching exclusively on YouTube, please consider that. Look at the description of the video, all right? Oh, what I'm hoping for is the best. I'm hoping that we'll have some generous parties who will step up and contribute and help. I would never demand a contribution. But I told you guys, I'd be happy just to stream without having any contributions. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>